did want to update people on, uh, because there was a Reuters report earlier today sort of talking about the possibility of that Aramco IPO. We've talked about it a great deal here over the last, well, almost two years at this point. Of course, the largest oil company in the world being taken public potentially, maybe as little as a 5% stake, but nonetheless enormous because of the potential value overall of Aramco. I've made the point that it would be really as akin to more or less taking Saudi Arabia public. Reuters saying that the uh, the uh, effort has been abandoned, or at least the bankers working on it have disbanded. But I do want to add some insight that, uh, that I can offer, at least having spoken to a number of people who are, are familiar with the situation. I mean, this has really not changed very much over the last year at all. There is still a desire on the part of the Crown Prince in Saudi Arabia to take Aramco public at some point. There is no urgency whatsoever, particularly given where oil is right now and the expectation perhaps that it could move even higher. But anytime it's anywhere near 70, upwards of 70 uh, or in the low to mid 60s as it is right now. Um, it has taken away from a need perhaps for them to do it in terms of any need they might have to raise money. They are much more focused right now, Saudi Aramco is, on these talks that they are involved in, in buying a stake in the world's fourth largest chemical firm, uh, Saudi petrochemical maker Sabic. Uh, now a lot of that is owned by the Saudi sovereign fund, uh, in fact, and the talks between Aramco and Sabic are ongoing um, between the public investment fund of Saudi Arabia, that large sovereign wealth fund they have. That would uh, have the effect, of course, of monetizing some of uh, the Saudi of uh, that sovereign fund's ownership uh, in that company. It would also add an important component to a certain extent for Aramco. But those who are sort of saying that they're not going to take that company public at some point would be mistaken in doing so, Sarah. Again, there's been nothing going on here for quite some time. There does not seem to be any urgency in doing it. Um, they don't see a need to take it public at this point. But from what I'm hearing, it is still a desire, ultimately, of the Crown Prince to do that. And the reason we care so much about this, not just is it a, seeking a ginormous valuation, right, could top $2 trillion, also seen as the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's reform. I mean, part of a big part of his reform effort to shift the economy. That's right. right. And in, even in selling as little as a 5% stake, nonetheless, you can take the proceeds and invest them in other things. Um, Are there any implications for Elon Musk? Here? I don't believe so. Uh, to the extent that the Sovereign Wealth Fund conceivably will be monetizing some of its investment in the this proceeds. very large chemical company, yeah. the proceeds perhaps would be available to it to reinvest in some fashion. But I have heard nothing, though frankly the calls that I was taking while you were at the beginning of the show there were much more focused just on sort of what's going on right now and not Tesla related. But I'd love to find out about that. Yeah, that would be a good link. Yeah, I mean, it's all coming from the same place.